Hi everybody. I know it's been a while since I've posted some videos. I apologize. Life's been just kind of busy and crazy lately. I've got a cold right now, so that's why I sound kind of nasal and all, but um, I do want to say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed and commented and left so many uh, nice words on the the different videos that I've done. Um, I really was not expecting uh, people to enjoy what I've done like that, but I really appreciate it, and as always, let me know what you want to see if there's something, uh, you, you know, that you want. Um, I have gotten several requests and I'll be working on those. So, um, also I want to give you guys an update. I have completely reorganized my makeup. So if you've seen my makeup collection, I have done it, I've gotten a new little, like, sh um, batch of shelves and it's all reorganized and I really like it. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, just let me know. Otherwise I probably won't reshoot all that. But if you want to, that's cool. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a new segment. It's going to be quick tricks, and so that's going to be like various little things that I do, um, but it's going to be like stuff under three minutes to explain. So like really quick, like short little aspects of different things um, in video format, of course. So um, be looking out for those. I'm pretty excited about that. I think it'll just give people, you know, something, if you don't have a lot of time and you're still surfing YouTube, is something you can look at and not have to watch 10 minutes worth. However, for this video, you may have to watch 10 minutes worth because it's going to take me a while to get through this because this video is 10 dirt cheap products worth trying. Um, I'm And by dirt cheap, I mean like under three bucks. Um, so most of the, them are right, right around a dollar. So I'm really excited about this. Um, so I'll get started. I can't really spend a whole lot of time on any one product or else I won't get through them all. So just um, let me know if you need some more details on something. I'd be more than happy to explain it further. Um, so all right. Start with number 10 is a product from Jordana, a brand you can find usually in most Walgreens stores. And it's their easy liners. Um, these are eyeliners and they have quite a few different colors. Um, I just grabbed out a couple that I have. One is called Eggplant. It's a really cool shade and kind of a, um, a deep brownish purple. So like some unusual shades that you're not going to find um, in other lines. I've also got this sea green color. It's like a true actual Kelly green is really what it is. We're kind of borderline forest green, but I just, I feel like the staying power is decent, especially if you top it with, like, use a liner shadow brush and top it with, like, a shadow of a contrast, or a similar color, um, but these are, like, uh, 199 or two for three bucks, so really cheap and such a wide variety, great for experimenting, um, so that's my number 10 product. Number nine is the e.l.f. Regular and Waterproof Mascara Duo. Now, I have to admit, I have not tried the waterproof end of this. I am just judging this on the regular end. Now, you must know all, all e.l.f. products are only 99 cents a piece. So, for the regular end alone, um, it's earning my, you know, my kudos, I guess you could say. Um, and it, it is really cool, the thought that there is a mascara with a, a waterproof and a regular on the same tube. I think that's a really cool idea. But the regular side um, is what I've used, and it really is is uh, pretty thickening, actually. It um, lengthens, thickens. I don't have an issue with it flaking off. And um, I really have not heard a lot of people talk much about Elf's mascara, but... I think it's really good, and for a dollar, I mean, why not just check it out and see if it works for you? Um, anybody who's tried the waterproof in, let me know, but like I said, I'm judging this on the regular side alone, and I like it a lot. Um, number eight is another e.l.f. product that I have, and it's the e.l.f. Elements, and so it's a neat little case, and it's just a really nice case. It comes with a nice big mirror, and you can actually fill this with whatever you want. I know some people fill it with even different brands that fit these little cases, but the e.l.f. stuff has a little magnet on the back of it, and it just fits right in like so. 
and they give uh, you can choose from lip glosses, um, blushes, bronzers, and eyeshadows that they have. And so I've got a couple different things. Um, I got a really nice eyeshadow in there, and I also really like this bronzer. Those are probably my favorite um, items that you can put in there. Um, not wild about the lip gloss, but overall, I think this is just a great idea, a great thing that you can um, take in your purse and have, you know, a few different things, switch them out, you know, get different different things in there. So I would really recommend that, and just the versatility. I mean, I know some people really like this just to put other products in, and it's just a nice portable option for them. So that is number eight, the Elf Elements Compact. Um, uh, that's again a dollar. Um, and when I'm going through this, I mean, I'm picking my top ten. There are other things that I like, believe it or not, that are dirt cheap beyond this category, but I'm picking my top ten things that I really think you should try. Um, number seven is, once again, an e.l.f. product. I'm really impressed with a lot of e.l.f. stuff. It's the e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine. It's got an SPF 15. It comes in a little tube. Um, this color is like is Pink Kiss. This color is uh, Goddess. Just, I mean, they, they have a nice range of shades. Pretty much, really nothing too deep, so you're going to get a pretty neutral to light lip color with it. Um, but I like it because with some squeezy lip glosses, they like separate. Like if you haven't used it in a while, you'll squeeze it out and you get like a clear gel and then your color. These don't do that. Um, they hang together. They have decent staying power. They've got an SPF in them, and um, they're not too sticky. No annoying scent, at least to me. <laughs> the scent is very subjective. Some people may not like it, but I like them. Um, I just think they're a great product. A dollar, I can't believe it. Great quality for a dollar, seriously. Okay, got to move on. <laughs> Take it too long here. Um, and number six is Elf's All Over Cover Stick. This is something I've started using on a daily basis. It's like a concealer foundation type stick, um, just dotted over the problem areas, has really great coverage, even better coverage than some of those liquidy concealers, um, good over blemishes, hasn't added to the problems of certain, uh, you know, when you have a blemish and you don't want to put something on so that's just going to make it worse. Uh, I don't feel like this makes mine any worse. Um, just a good all around concealer for once again a buck. I'm sorry, I'm still on ELF <laughs> number five. I mean, can't get much dirt cheaper than ELF. Um, is their Candy Shop Lip Gloss. These are so cute, these little tins, and they slide open. And what you get in there, they have multiple flavors, like this is melon, and then I have a cherry one too. Not only do they smell great, but you actually get color with this. Like this is actually, actually comes off as a nice peachy nude on your lips, and the cherry, really does come off like a sheer red. So those are great items. Moving on, um, I've got another Jordana product in at number four. It's their Pretty Shine Lip Glosses. Um, these just have a wonderful texture to them and a great um, kind of, you know, sparkly shine, but not overwhelmingly, I mean, we're not talking glitter. It's just got a nice shimmer to it. Um, again, an item that's $1.99 each or two for $3, so love those. Those are great. Uh, number three is my NYC Matte Bronzer in Sunny. As you can see, I've been using this one quite a bit. Um, just great all-over color for the face. Um, not too shimmery. Great for every day. Number two is NYC's Color Wheel Mosaic Eyeshadow. You get... Um, you know, multiple shades, and they just have a great pigmentation, um, less than, I believe that's around $2, and i got to wrap it up now. Um, number one, and by number one I really do mean it, it's um, Elf's Eyelash Curler. Got a great little grip on it, fits my eye wonderfully well. I've heard so many people that like this, and if you don't get anything else from Elf, try this product. The eyelash curler is great. All right. Gotta go now, but that's 10 dirt cheap products worth trying. Thanks for watching.